today I will be going over the life and criminal history of Lance Wilson, aka Ryder. It is believed that Lance Wilson was born in the year 1963, but it is confirmed that he is raised in Los Santos, San Andreas, and will be brought up in the notorious hood, Grove Street. Lance's upbringing is unknown. But more than likely, he will grow up being neglected by his parents and learn everything about the streets from them and his peers. This will lead him down a criminal path, joining the African American gang, the Grove Street families, possibly belonging to them during the Orange Grove family identity. Under the gang, Lance will earn the name Ryder. This nickname will come from his smash on sight attitude and being down for pretty much anything. It is said, during his childhood, Lance would have sold a teacher for Wambala colors and would even sell drugs to make ends meet early as the age of 10 years old. Growing up in the streets of Los Santos, Ryder would end up earning OG status under the gang, being behind several murders and other criminal activities. Over the years, members of the Grove Street families would lose their influence and some would even lose their life. Leading to his addiction to PCP and childhood friend CJ leaving Los Santos. In 1992, Ryder would be approached by his childhood friend and co leader, Big Smoke. The way I see it, man, I need to be in charge of my destiny, homie. This way you will be, homie. This is all about destiny. You know I got your back, right, homie? Cool. How my shit look, fool? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Now the way I see it is that we don't have a choice. Ain't nothing to feel bad about. You put a gun to a brother's head, brother's gonna do what he's told. No matter if he's a fool or a wise man. You don't want a bullet in the brain. But if you can make it work and make some Benjamins while you at it, <laughs> then that's cool. It's gonna take more than a bullet in the head to stop me. <laughs> I don't doubt that, homie. This conversation would bring Ryder into the crack selling business. Despite how Grove Street leader and childhood friend Sweet felt about crack rock being sold and used, Ryder and Big Smoke will end up working with corrupt LSPD officers and their long term rivals, the Ballas, to take out Sweet in a drive by shooting so they could push their crack business further. But instead, the shooting would take out Beverly Johnson, the mother of CJ, Kendall, Brian and Sweet. Ryder, Big Smoke, and the officers will have the getaway car to cover up their tracks. Following the death of Beverly, her son CJ will return for the funeral, riding with Big Smoke, meeting Ryder, Sweet, and Kendall at a local cemetery. But as the meetup would end, the Grove Street gang would start to head back to their car, being ambushed by the ballers, blowing up Big Smoke's car. Ending in the members jumping on bikes, racing their way back to Grove Street, as the ballers would shoot at CJ and Sweet, possibly being a setup by Ryder and Big Smoke. Shortly after, Ryder would spend time chilling, listening to music, and loading up his gun when childhood friend CJ would come by to see him. Ryder would express his anger for the local pizza joint when he found out they were covering up the GSF tags. The two would carry out a mission. Ryder would take CJ to get a haircut and then would convince him to go into the pizza joint. Ryder would then follow in wearing a mask. He would then pull out his gun and attempt to rob the restaurant. Unfortunately for Ryder, his disguise would fail. The employee would just laugh at him, call out his name, and then pull out a gun chasing the two off the property. The two would then speed back to Grove Street where they would depart. Later, Ryder, Big Smoke, and Sweet would discuss the gang's politics. But this conversation would end when CJ would enter the room. Sweet would then send CJ and Ryder to clean up the hood. Ryder and CJ would then head over to the Ganton Court projects to recruit OG members of the gang, such as Big Bear and Beat Up. After finding the two, they would be told to leave and would even be threatened by the gang member Beat Up, leaving the two to handle this problem on their own. Ryder and CJ would then head over to the Ballers Crack Den, beating up multiple members of the front yard Ballers set with baseball bats. As the Grove Street members headed out to grab food from a Cluckin' Bell in Willowfield, Big Smoke would tip off the Kilo Tray Ballers and would stall his Grove Street homies by placing a long order. More than likely, Ryder would be unaware of the situation. Ryder would spot the baller's car scoping them out. CJ would then pull off, ending in a high speed chase and shootout 
between the two parties, leaving the Bala's members dead in the Idlewood area. While hanging out, Ryder would express his dislike for Emmett's gun supply over a game of dominoes with Big Smoke. CJ would then defend Emmett in the conversation, leading to Big Smoke taking him to Willowfield to meet Emmett. Once the Grove Street gang got a hold of some guns, they would head over to Glen Park to perform a drive-by shooting. This shooting would end up being successful and their identities would go unknown to the police. One day, Ryder would bury some PCP in the backyard for unknown reasons, but once he needed a fix, he would go looking for it and would end up being creeped on by CJ. Ryder would then chop it up with CJ, planning a home invasion in East Beach to steal an ex-soldier's gun collection. Later that night, the two would head over to East Beach during the night, breaking in and stealing all his guns. Ryder and LB would then supply the Grove Street families and Seville Boulevard families with the guns, helping them become a feared gang in Los Santos once again. Ryder would lose his PCP again, which made him into making a homemade batch. While him and CJ would hold a conversation, Tim Penny and Pulaski would barge in talking shit and tipping them off about a train that would have explosives and other gun supplies. The Grove Street members would then head over to the train's location, ending in a shootout and a high speed chase, losing many packages along the way. On a cool Los Santos day, Ryder would decide to relax in the backyard, smoking a fat blunt and reminiscing on his youth, but once the conversation would end, Ryder would take CJ to rob a local army base, killing several guards and escaping with their guns, having some of the best guns on the street. To celebrate, Ryder would attend OG Logue's party, hanging outside with the other Grove Street members, and he would even get jealous when CJ would be praised by Sweet for the work he has been putting in. A Grove Street homie would then pull up, falling off his bike, telling him that the ballers are headed over to ambush him. The Grove Street gang would then have a shootout with the ballers in the Grove Street area. The gang would leave safely after the party. Ryder would struggle with his reality, not knowing if he wanted to be 100% for the family gang or 100% for the drug game. But as his dislike grew for CJ, he would end up knowing what he wanted. The leader of the Grove Street family, Sweet, would try to reunite the other family sets, meeting up in a local hotel. But Crash would bust in, killing and locking up as many members as they could. Ryder and Big Smoke would peel off, leaving CJ and Sweet behind. But after seeing that they could hold their own, they would pull back up, picking them up and escaping while being chased by the police and SWAT team. Once things cooled down, crash officers, Ryder, Big Smoke and the ballers would be seen by Caesar, the leader of the Aztecas, hanging around a dope spot. Caesar would then expose them to CJ, showing him the getaway car that they used to kill his mother. Once his betrayal came to the light, Ryder would travel back and forth to San Fierro, meeting up with his drug connections, and would even try to bang CJ's sister, Kendall, during these events. CJ would then hunt Ryder down and find him at Pier 69, beside members of the San Fierro gang, the Rifas. Ryder would attempt to run away, but this would only lead to him being shot and killed, left to die on the boat. Hey what's up everyone, it's your boy Los. Thank you for making it this far in the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment below how you think Ryder acts. Do you think he's so high he doesn't know what's going on around him? Or do you think he's just like this super gangster that like is down to kill anyone? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested in what y'all think about Ryder. Like he's one of my favorite characters and I'm sure he's one of yours. But yeah, this your boy LS Central. Check in. Out.